so I've never said this before in any of my reviews but I'm afraid I have to give this a zero stars out of five now I'll have to pack it all up in the box take it back for a refund and get something a little bit better quality because this is real rubbish this video is sponsored by nobody g'day you know the drill just a very quick unboxing whack it together and then compare it to the previous cordless mower and see the difference This is extremely intuitive to set up. suspension idea look never seen that on a mower one thing I was disappointed to find is unlike my friend's Ryobi which is a slightly bigger it doesn't have a mulching plug and that's something I really wanted because using his mower recently it did an incredible job and there was no lawn clippings behind the mower. I doubt it, but I will look into maybe seeing if a mulching plug will fit this one and somehow retrospectively fitting it. The trouble is you don't get any tech specs with most of these mowers. Really hard to find specifications. I know this one is about 500 RPM faster. So basically 4500 RPM with no load speed. On a plus side, if it means anything to you, this model mower has a slightly faster DC brake when you compare this one to my friend's Ryobi. And this is the safety key. If you remove that, nobody's going to be able to start the mower. Just keep it somewhere safe so that you can start it when you need it. The 
The benefit of it being so narrow is it fits in these little nooks and crannies. This height adjust is a little fiddly, but it's not too bad. You can see it has these little grass combs either side as they call them which uh, supposedly collect the grass and direct it towards the, the blade underneath so you can get up fairly close to the edge here hence why it's called easy edge Whew. well that's actually a huge relief for me because I was stressing about whether or not it would clump not having a mulch plug but as you can see it doesn't so whew. So for $2.99, it's a pretty good buy. How much battery did that use for all of downstairs? Huh. Only half a battery. That's okay. Ryobi meets Ozito. So now you know the comparison between the Azito, which unfortunately was a complete failure quality wise, to the Ryobi. Thanks for joining me, check out my other videos and let me know what you think below. Cheers.